Making this video is an instructional video on the easy way to pull the engine out of this Gen 4 ski -Doo that I got sitting in front of me. So to start with, obviously, I pulled the secondary clutch out, pulled this big stupid air box out. Um, exhaust is all off. All this stuff's pretty self-explanatory to pull. If you can't do that, you probably shouldn't be working on the snowmobile. Um, as far as coolant goes, right here, this is a quick connect, undo that, right here on the cylinder head has an Oedeker style clamp, which is this, um, usually not reusable, just get a hose clamp. One coolant line from right here, I've already tucked it onto this side of the ECM right here, that runs down to your throttle body. Uh, two plugs from the ECM right here, one right here one just under there i've pulled the recoil off this one because it's a pull start model taking this bolt out right there which is for the side engine mount and ground um and then back over here it helps if you pull the primary clutch off but you don't have to and i'm not going to on this one because i'm putting this engine back in once i fix the frame damage uh, throttle bodies you gotta unhook fuel line and then there's also two fuel lines here which I have tucked there and there and there's that coolant line I unhooked before throttle cable unhooked tucked up out of the way hooks there self-explanatory <coughs> over here you got one two still in there three four bolts that need to come out uh, to unbolt that engine plate i've left the oil tank on but i've taken the clamp off here and also the rave valve as you can see the cable goes around this pyramid which doesn't come out so i have unhooked that and it simply tucks down there so i'm going to pass my phone off here and pull this engine out stand back for it got this coolant line right here. You gotta undo this coolant line right here too. You can bring the phone over and check. That coolant line on top of the cylinder head right here, which is now gonna suck. There we go. Get this wiring out of the way. And voila, you got an easy to work on 850 Gen 4 engine.